I'm here with the Dutch 2002 K1 champion, Gerald Venetian. Gerald, your first time fighting in the big show in Japan, mixed martial arts, what's it going to be like for you? Uh, it's the first time, it's uh, new for me, but I think it's just like uh, another fight. I'm very uh, relaxed. Mm -hmm. So, what are your best weapons as a fighter? Uh, by some by, by in, uh, my legs and my in, uh, punching. Gerald Venetian, he's the Dutch K1 2002 champion, and he's ready to rumble tonight. I mean, he comes from the Johan Bos gym, he trains with Ernesto Hoost. That says it all. Every day sparring with Ernesto Hoost. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Not for me. This guy is good. Devastating striker. He can kick. The roundhouse kick he likes. Yeah, you know, he's really strong. His upper body, but uh, those kicks, I mean, like Hoost. Hoost likes that low kick, but that sets up the high kick. Will he be the next Ernesto Hoost? We're going to find out tonight. Matsui must be thinking, you're gonna come to Tokyo and beat me up in my place? And Venetian is saying, that's right. That's why he gave him the kiss at the beginning of the match. But Matsui is saying, ah, you ain't gonna get out of this fight with, without an L in your loss column. So he's gonna take care of business. You like that, huh? I love it. <laughs> Venetian stepping forward. Probably got the instructions from his corner. Just let him go. Just start punching. And there's the sprawl again. And Matsui in position to get need right there, but Venetian. Flying drop kick there. Got a little bit short. <laughs> Put it lightly. And Matsui popping back up, and he doesn't really want to trade with Venetian, but I'll tell you, Matsui, when he fought Ebenezer Fontes Braga, he dropped a right hand when no one expected it, so he, you never know, he might crack that right hand, but I don't think he's going to hurt Venetian. Venetian going for the sprawl again, but Matsui grabbing the leg, and Venetian not knowing that he can knee to the head, I don't think. I think he wanted to do it, but Matsui realized that he wasn't in the wrong position, and he right away turned on his back. Really fresh. It's amazing. Yeah. Look at this. Nice. And good roundhouse kick by Venetian. And Matsui's got a little bit of a nick on him. He's starting to bleed a little bit. Venetian starting to oppose the Thai boxing here. It's exactly what he should do. And he's got him on his back. He's got to go to the side mark right away. Now, why is he doing this? I have no idea. You're absolutely right. You should go for the side mount. Go for a key lock. Because there's no finishing. We, yeah, because we haven't seen Venetian in trouble of being submitted at all. Yeah, no holding. No. <laughs> Actually, he reversed him in this position. Yeah. So far, Venetian has stolen back any debate of who is winning the fight. He's pulled ahead, but now he's got to be careful here. Matsui's so got to pull out now, out of this half guard, and do what we say in order to win this fight. He's got to listen to us. With just a little bit over three minutes left, Matsui has got to basically, be, he's got a loose guard. He could just hop over into side mount. Just lift and that right no leg. There's no hold in. There it is. Oh, now he's got the mount. mount. He's got the mount, but what will he do with the mount? Can he ground and pound, but Venetian is, is locking him tight. He's got to watch out that Venetian's not going to turn him to the right now. No hold, no hold. Because he did it before. Well, to finish. It's quite dangerous when you're in a mount position and you put your arm around somebody's neck. Yeah, because he can just flip you that way. Yes. But Venetian... Looks like he's going for a lag lock. He wants to go for a lag lock, it looks like. He's going to start grounding and pounding, but Venetian has got half a butterfly. And look at this. Venetian sweeps him off. Wow, good leg work there by Venetian. Matsui jumping up at Venetian with a double front kick, up kick. Flip Matsui over. Wow. Now Matsui down. Stand up. And Matsui being implored by the referee to stand hey, up. Matsui looking like he's having to make Wait. a little adjustment there. Yep, that's a thing that boys have problems with. Men actually. But Matsui, be careful. One, one minute and fifty seconds. Sorry, Stephen. Um, 
Matsui really needs to take down Adam. Oh, Venetian is putting the hurt on him right now. Because Matsui is telegraphing his takedowns. He's, he's, oh, there's a badass low kick by Venetian. Venetian in control here. A good sprawl now, but he's not really driving his hips down. He's letting his hips up, and he's going to get taken down again. Yeah, but Matsui is not doing anything with it, so there's not a big... But Matsui has no other option. No, he does. He's got to listen to us. Yeah, but uh, Venetia chopping away, doing what he has to do. Oh, he's doing a great job. Keep busy. Just a little bit over one minute left. Unless... Oh, look at this kick. I like that. Scorpion kick. <laughs> I did a movie one time called Martial Law and Sophia Rothrock. They're great. No, 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 Okay, same position. Same position. Same position. Same position. But I don't see much changing. I saw that. Venetian, if he knew the rules, he'd just start throwing knees here. But they are going to let Matsui grab the leg. I hear the corner for Venetian saying, telling him in Dutch to elbow the side of his body. Elbow right. See, he's listening good. No spine line. Okay, no spine line. Okay. You see, but Boss ba ba shouldn't, shouldn't be underhooking here. Okay, yes, and knee. Yeah, just knee to the top of the head. But he does, I don't think he, he knows this. This is his first time, and he's doing well. Oh, look at that. that wow. wow. What a good kick. <laughs> he, he, he must have pulled that kick because that would have knocked uh, Matsui out of where it's been a full power kick. Because Venetia can definitely kick. We're getting close to the end of the round. Venetian really has pulled ahead, been more aggressive. And there it is. Venetian doesn't really want to knee. I don't think he understands that. But there we go. It's the end of the fight, folks. Gerald Venetian has come here to Japan to Matsui's town. Oh, yes. Here outside Tokyo and beaten Daijiro Matsui. He said, do you really think that I came all the way from the United States to lose this fight? Oh, actually, from Holland to lose this? The geezer says no. We're gonna win. But the thing is, the guy from Holland came in with a lot of attitude, made the adjustments, reversed Matsui several times in the middle of the bout, showed a lot of composure, Matsui, in some ways, is becoming like the Gary Goodrich of the under 205 pounds. He's like the gatekeeper now. New guys like Venetian come in, and if they can beat Matsui, then they might get a shot at somebody tougher, and there's a lot of tough guys in that weight division. And here we go. Let's see what the judges think. I think it's definitely Gerald Venetian. Same thing here. Judge Bato. Okay, Gerald Nishi has won a split decision. And the winner is... Apparently, the one who has favorite did like those takedowns. Yep. Uh, but, you know, it was a great first fight in, uh, you know, Japan for Gerald Venetian. This kind of pressure, this kind of heat, like, for all these people. Yeah, the, uh, the, the thing about a takedown is if you take somebody down, you got to use the takedown. And Matsui didn't really use the takedown. You know, he, he jumped right into his guard, he didn't pass, he didn't do anything with it. So that's why I really think that Venetian won this fight. Yeah, I, I, would, I would tend to agree with you. I think Venetian was dominating on that third round. Uh-oh, uh -oh. his trophy broke. That's a hidden compartment there for when he goes back to Holland. Okay. Here, here's the, the soccer kick by Venetian. Uh, Matsui getting out of the way and crack. That hurts just to see that big foot flying upside. Matsui just looked at it like, Ey. That was a Steven Spielberg shot right there. Oh, yeah. Beautiful as if it was planned. Venetian had so much power that he broke his trophy. All that. And look at this guy. I like this personality that he came in the ring with. With that stare down. 
Yep, it's the, like I told you, the uh, Vandalay Silva stare down. He was here to fight and he showed the people that he could fight. 